I explain what is meant by the term prototyping. Um, okay, four marks, boy. Ooh, nice, nice. All right, so let's break it down into logical. So as I explained, so we could give examples to kind of fight through this. It is the process of um, refining an application rapidly by creating multiple mockups slash beta tests beta test to show to the user in an effort to get the user to decide what they want from the application um yeah i don't think we should put beta tests no we shouldn't put beta tests multiple mockups multiple mockups for review here yeah. multiple mockups for review because the, the user has to kind of review it to determine what they want yeah to decide what they want from the application four marks refining the application rapidly by creating multiple mockups as two um to show the user the user is brought in as three marks and an effort to get them to decide what they want which is give feedback yeah four marks then i would say so all right so a part two explain how prototyping can be used in development of our software product how it can be used how it can explain how prototyping can be used all right it can be used to create multiple iterations of our application i don't know how multiple iterations of the software that would get a lot of feedback <laughs> that would help in refining the software to meet way look at words meet the needs of the user to a high degree of satisfaction i don't know these questions say literally let's open it opening it up to this say stuff how we getting four marks here how we getting four marks here it creates multiple iterations that's one mark um you get a lot of feedback that's two marks it will help refine the software so it meets the needs three marks and use that satisfaction four marks all right i think that's four marks yeah. do ask me what the examiner report have because it has nothing candidates were able to describe the iterative process of building software allowing users to test and provide feedback and and then refining the software as beneficial to creating a system that meets the needs of the user all right they had something similar to what happened all right convert damn it it's not working that's weird i'm gonna convert it let's loop all the time keep it fast now ah uh, okay okay yeah now nah. windows they have the arm uh... all right um i state two weaknesses of the prototyping approach that is evolutionary development um one it can take very long because there is no there is no set end and two it can um well it can take very long and it well everything else spin off from the fact that it take very long okay so let's say there is no set end let's change that say there is no set end product and two resources can be wasted if clients um, reject um, mockups all right look at us a data flow diagram question and a certain hospital patient no this are erd yeah heard nice and easy all right there you go sit in hospital patients are assigned to a single ward let's go patients how much patients are assigned to a single ward multiple patients are assigned to a single ward multiple patients single ward ward why did i put ward in capital letters i don't know multiple patients assigned are assigned multiple patients is many patients assigned to a single ward as we proceed um where they are treated by one doctor patient treated by one doctor sounds correct they are treated by one doctor a ward may have one or more doctors so a ward has ward has one or more doctors one ward has one or more doctors and a doctor can work on one or more wards okay doctor can work on one or more wards nice there are a number of healthcare assistants who work on each ward and each one may take care of one or more patients in that ward healthcare assistants what 
when you call a healthcare assistant or HA healthcare assistant assistant right so how much assistance could you could have assistant has number of healthcare assistants who work on each ward and each one we take number of healthcare assistants on each ward so multiple assistants one ward um, one ward has multiple assistants and um, and they may take care of one or more patients assistant takes care of one or more patients da, 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 da. a patient can also be taken care of by one or more healthcare assistants okay wow, this is just a one-to-many kind of i mean a many-to-many -many kind of list each patient has a unique id thanks this is a, always a free mark just give an id and underline it um hospital keeps track of the name of each patient address and emergency contact number Wow, yeah, right. Suck for space. ID, name, address, and contact number. Cool. Each patient is administered one or more treatments to deal with his or specific condition. Treatments administered one or more treatments. Right. Admin. Yeah. A patient is administered. Hmm. I'm to show how to mark this. Right. For each entity, one, two, three, four. I like five marks already. One mark for the primary key, that is six. Seven for the um, for any other attributes. I can say eight marks. The next two marks for cardinalities. Yeah, we would hope. Y'all had the diagram like that, right? All right. Nine marks only there. I found that word. All right. Okay, favorite question. Describe three tests for binary search. Actually, this is not your favorite question, but this is an easy question. Test number one. Send correct array and correct search value it should return the index send wrong array and wrong value it should return minus one three um send correct array and wrong value it should return um minus one also there are many other tests that you could do. I'm gonna change this one to send um empty array and valid value. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, if it's an empty array and a valid value, that should be good enough there. Good. State three traditional methods of determining requirements of a new software system and identify one advantage and one disadvantage of each method. Whoa! Determining requirements requirements. This is research. <laughs> This will be all right. Let's go for the um, questionnaires, um, interviews, and observation. All right. One advantage and one disadvantage. Questionnaires. Advantage. Disadvantage. I guess you could go. All right. What's the advantage of questionnaires? Questionnaires can be analyzed quickly and accurately. Disadvantage can be full of. Uh, Wrong data because people lie. Interviews advantage gives great detail about the requirements. Disadvantage can be difficult to analyze after the fact. Observation gives first hand view of the old system. Disadvantage can be very time consuming. Mm -hmm. yep. I didn't use um review of documents, but review of documents is possible too. You're free to use that. A data flow diagram difficult um sorry typically contains symbols representing external entities, data stores and processes to the purpose of each. What? Purposes? Wow, that's rough. It's like a really easy data flow diagram. I don't know then it have a easy one now. Alright. State the purpose of each of those symbols. Alright. External entity is a person or place that sends and receives so no that sends source data that sends source data yeah sends source data to the system data store a uh, place where processed data is stored for future use a process acts on data that <clears throat> is sent into the system yeah i'll take it we'll take that act on data that's sent into the system pretty much um 
Right symbols give a diagram showing how it's using a DFD. Think collecting an entity. Name, age. Um, this is a process. And then data store. Store status. Can't see anything else like that. You know, person. Person sends the name and age. It goes through some process. It gives a status and it's stored in the data store. Cool. Great. Can't see any. Um, can't see any issues there. Alright, our customer sends an order to the order processing system. The system checks if the items ordered are in the inventory. Alright, this data flow will look like it's cake. Let's see if it's sponge cake or I don't know. Customer. Customer sends an order to the order processing system. System checks to see if the orders are in the inventory. Check order. Checks to see if it's in the inventory. Inventory is a data store. Yeah, and it'll probably be completed to ID and then it's come back as status. If the items are available a shipping notice is sent to the warehouse notice warehouse which dispatches the items to the customer and updates the number of items in the inventory dispatch to the warehouse of the items and the dispatcher send it to the customer and if the items are not available the order is rejected and returned to the customer wow. rejected that was a little rough that is it updates the number of items in inventory dispatch will update number yeah. So the dispatch will get the item sent to the customer. Item dispatch the number of items in the inventory. If the items are not available, the order is rejected and they sent to the customer. Okay. Yeah, as it is. Six marks, one mark, two marks, three marks, four marks, five marks, and uh, data, two marks, and arrows. I guess so. Distinguish between functional requirements and non functional and give one example. Well, since you'll finish your yeah, IE, functional, non functional, functional things that the user should see or, or be able to do. Example printer reports. Non functional things that deal with the way the program works example fast user interface something like that yeah you would have had stuff like that because right? i mean that's really easy